Worlds to Conquer closing in at Freehold. Red Leaf Macabuck got parked. Elvis T on fire in New York. And Cosmic Debris, two for two with Berkeley. With Worlds to Conquer around the first chair. Red Leaf Macabuck and Mosea. With Elvis T sack in, that's Worlds to Conquer third. Another two and a half to last chance for glory. Then three to tap dancer. Length to have Cosmic Debris. Three more, the legend. Trailers are San Casson and Good Time Giorgio. 27 and 2, quick opening quarter. And Red Leaf Macabuck by a length and a half over Elvis T. Then two to Worlds to Conquer. Another two back, last chance for glory. Then it's another two more to Cosmic Debris. Tap dancer. He in sixth. Then it's the legend on the outside, followed by Good Time Giorgio and San Cassin. The by the half in, it's Red Leaf Macabuck with a length and a half lead over Elvis T. Grinding it out on the outside, uncover Cosmic Debris. The half in 56 seconds. On to the far chain. In the end, it's Red Leaf Macabuck. By three parts of length, tough trip for Cosmic Debris. Elvis T along the inside third. Then it's two more to Worlds to Conquer. They're by three quarters. And it's Red Leaf Macabuck. Trying to go all the way. Three quarters and one, 25 and one, demanding fractions. It's Red Leaf Macabuck. With a length and a half lead. The outside, Cosmic Debris trying to hang in there. Elvis T on the inside. Trying to close from far back. Last chance for glory. In deep stretch. Red Leaf Macabuck is tiring. Here comes last chance for glory on the outside. Rallying to win it in 155. Patience paid off for Marl here. He made the right move by sitting in at the half. Found room late and burst home for the upset. Tough trip for the favorite Cosmic Debris. And too fast up front for Red Leaf Macabuck. Winning connections, Dwayne Marfisi, Monty Galrod, and owner David Sharp of New York, New York.